Joining us now live is Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky of Illinois, who is on Capitol Hill tonight and joins us from there. Congresswoman Schakowsky, thank you so much for making time for us tonight. It's great to see you. Oh, thank you so much, Rachel, for focusing on this issue of nursing homes. Appreciate it. I wanted to talk to you about it because you've really led the charge on this um, in the House. This letter that you sent to the Trump administration demanding that they immediately collect and publicly report facility level data on nursing homes. They do now say that they want to collect that information. Are they collecting the right information? Do you have faith that they're going to carry this out uh, the way that it needs to be done? You know, I definitely have concerns. Number one, they aren't going to be reporting fatalities, only the cases. And we need to know about the fatalities. In my district, I have a nursing home that has 42 cases, and 13 people have, have, uh, have died. And we have many uh, nursing homes where more than 20 have died. We need to know this information. Beyond that, they're doing it by rulemaking, Rachel, which takes a long time. They could just order it right now, but that is not happening. So I don't know even when that data collection is going to uh, to come about. So there are a number of problems with the, and, and, and I believe that it is in response to uh, 78 of us. I led a letter um, to uh, HHS and to CMS to saying, you need to tell us, not just the families, not just the residents, um, but also the public, what is going on in nursing homes. You know, Richard, we don't know the scope of this problem, and we need to have a picture of it. The relief bill that uh, the House is going to vote on tomorrow, the reason you're in Washington so you can vote on that bill, as far as I understand it, I'm not totally clear on it, but I think there is about $25 billion exactly. earmarked in that bill for testing. Do you, do you know if any of that is going to be for testing nursing homes? None of it has been officially designated for nursing homes. It's supposed to be for the high-risk areas, and I certainly hope that will happen. And I want to communicate with the um, powers that be that that be one of the uh, areas. Because uh, with 1.3 million nursing homes in this country, there are chronic problems. But right now, we really need to focus on those nursing homes and, and make sure that we're testing. As Nancy Pelosi said from the beginning, testing 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 and so I am certainly going to encourage and encourage my colleagues to say nursing homes need to be at the top of the list Congresswoman, um, we're going to stay on the nursing home issue um, as long as it continues to be the biggest problem here. Because you have taken the lead on this in, in the House, I'd ask you to just please keep us apprised and please come back and visit with us as this as rulemaking and policymaking proceeds on this. I just feel like the, the hole in the federal response here is just incredibly fatal. Uh, and I'd love to stay in touch with you on an ongoing basis on this. Thank you. I'd be honored to do that. Thank you. Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky of Illinois, thank you. Um, all right, we've got uh, much more to come tonight. Stay with us.